Hello, this is Jon Kovorp from EMD. In this video I would like to show you how easy it is to create a 3D model of your WinPro project for sharing with other people. So um, that has been possible uh, for a long time and uh, you can see here in our help uh, system how you can do it if you don't have the Pro version uh, of SketchUp. But since the latest release of SketchUp 2024, it has become even more easy. And that's what inspired me to do this video. So I will show you how you can do it in SketchUp 2024. And if you have an older version, you can see uh, how you do it in this uh, demo here, in this quick guide. So uh, I have created this uh, random project. It's just a completely random place in the world. Uh, and I have uh, created a project where I have some uh, elevation data and I have two background maps, the Bing maps and the open street map. Then I have added uh, three wind turbines here uh, in this layout and I have created another layout where I just put them some other random places here. So now I want to show you how you can uh, share this project in 3D. So first I want to create the 3D version of the project and for that I use the SketchUp integration tool and I want to create a surface and I want to use the Bing aerial map and I want to use, to use the area of interest which I have already set to be this area just covering this island. I say OK and OK. Then I also want to create some wind turbines and I want to use the detailed 3D models of the wind turbines which is okay when there's not too many VTGs and I want them to face west. So now I click this button or this button to load SketchUp. Right now SketchUp is loaded I can go back make sure I have selected these two creators and then I run all selected. Then you can see this button is animated. That means that now SketchUp is working uh, on the export. Now it stops uh, the animation and I can click the button. And you can see here it has created a 3D version of my WinPro project. So there's a few things I don't like about this. I don't like that it is showing the edges and I don't like the it is showing the profiles of the uh, polygons and I don't like that it shows the axis so I just disable that before I share the model because that is not uh, looking so good and it's also not so interesting those axes for the end user so this is uh, it so now I want to share it and here in SketchUp 2024 they have added this new share button that makes it easy to share it with someone who doesn't have SketchUp. So I'll try and press this button. Now it wants to save it. That means it's uploaded to the cloud. And I'll just put it in my demo folder. And I'll just use this name. And you can see here that this button shows that it's uploading. Now I check this one and I press the copy button. So that means that now I have a link that I can share with whoever I like. I paste that into my web browser. So here we have it. And as you can see, it's exactly the same model, of course, but it's just a viewer now, it's not an editor. You can see here in the left side, there are some navigation tools. And in the right side, there's also some uh, options. And one of them is actually interesting because that is something called scenes. So, if you want to do something that is uh, a little more complex than just showing uh, one version of your project, maybe you want to show the several wind turbine layouts, or maybe you want to show it using different maps, and maybe you want to show it with shadows from the VTGs, then you can create different scenes of your project and add them here. So, of course, that's not needed. You, this might just be fine. But I'll just show you how you can create different scenes showing different things from your project as well. So now I go back to my WinPro project and then I like to uh, make an export where I use a different background map. So I create a new 
uh, surface exporter and I this time I want to use the open street map and again the same area and then I just run that and then I also want to make an export of this different layout that I have and then I just run the, my VTG exporter again and then I go to SketchUp. So now you can see here, if I go under Tags, that is also known as Layers, I have different layers with different with each of my exports. And uh, for instance, I can select now the OpenStreetMap and this new layout of my wind turbines. So I can add this to my uh, export as different scenes. So if I first create one scene containing the original layout that I exported, create a scene here. You can see now it added a tab up here. That means whenever I click on this tab, it goes to the same viewpoint as when I created the scene and also activate the same layers here. Then I create, uh, I, I make this these layers visible instead and also I want to add some shadows here and I can set the time and date for when I want to add these uh, or show these shadows and then I create a new scene. So now I can select these different scenes up here and go back and forth between them and that would also be available in the exported uh, version of the project. So now I just save my project and you can see this cloud button here is also uh, showing it's updating. Now it's done, then I go back to my web browser and I refresh my uh, web page here. So now you can see I have the same model here, just with a different uh, background map and a different BTG layout. So here you have the different scenes and the user can select the scenes they like to see. And of course you could make different scenes with different shadow settings for different times of day and so on. So as you can uh, see, this um, very flexible and you can create uh, different scenes with very different information about your project. You can also export result layers and other things you want to show. So I hope that you found this useful and I hope that you would subscribe for our YouTube channel. And uh, thank you for watching.